what is going down trips we are back at it again with the trusty steed i need to do a timing belt on this so it was done five or six years ago and i wouldn't care if it didn't have a nick in it if you watch a previous video i can't remember which one it is you'll find it if you're a true fan you'll find it there is a video of me at a track day and one of my mates happens to notice that the timing belt's got a big nick in it. So it is a non-interference -interfe engine. It's 7,000 rev smashing limiter, 1,000 higher than standard. Is it going to still be non-interference? -inter Maybe. Don't really want to find out for the sake of a single belt. I didn't even get a tensioner. Single belt, which was like not a lot of money, put it that way. I need to get the crank pulley off. So I need the radiator out of the way. I need to jack it up on the driver's side, roll underneath, take the bottom hose off, pull the radiator up out of the way. I'll get some access, impact gun, well, both the V-belts off, water pump pulley off, impact gun, shouldn't take too long. Let's get into it. Really hope there's no water in this. Pretty sure I've already emptied it out of here before. But sometimes you never know. So I think the key here is to pull this off and yeah, move really fast. Come on. Off you come. This hose is a pretty tight one. Let's see. Oh, there's water in there. Oh, it went right down my sleeve. No way. <laughs> Let me get a, a wee tray for catching it. Not just to loosen off the alternator top bolt, and then under there, that wee felly. Make sure you're in reverse, and you can't quite get in. Oh yeah, I forgot one. And that one there. I bet he's a twelve. I oh, know it's not. Yeah. Beautiful. Of late. Come on. Now for the second one. It's not as fun. Gotta get down onto that one. So I may have skipped a wee step, but I took the uh, power steering belt off and the water pump pulley off, and I couldn't get my battery gun in there because there's not a lot of space. I had to get. Old Faithful out, and Old Faithful worked a charm because this bolt just buzzed off beautiful. So next, crank pulley. So um, lucky that my father has got loads of tools because I would never have got this off without a centre pulley doofer jacket. You can't do it without using two hands but uh, you get the idea, it's now actually coming off which is nice. So we're chipping on with this all right, obviously crank pulley off now which was a bit of a pain just to push the tensioner back and then take the bolt off for the bearing, tensioner back, pin it, nut off for this, belt off, new belt on. Luckily I've got marks from before, uh, you can't see them, now you can. My mum made me some uh, French baguette pizzas, I asked her for a good colour, she gave me this. It looks pink, 
but it's actually clear, so it doesn't really work that great. So we'll just uh, use the top mark, hope the crank doesn't move, freestyle it. We got this baby. Although I don't see why you should. Maybe just the fact that these grips are ginormous, but it is all I have. <laughs> Maybe just these that are not the greatest of ideas. Oh, almost. Oh, come on. I think these grips are far too big, but I don't actually have anything else to use, so. We'll just have to suffer. <coughs> Works for me. <coughs> no, it doesn't because it's not actually far enough back. Oh, no. It is, it is. Na 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 na, beautiful. So the neck in this. right there and that has been caused by yeah this that uh, definitely wasn't fitted on right because both the bolts were missing we're probably not gonna put that back on and just run it without one because why not Yeah, that's still pegged in. Let's see if we can get this on. Tight. I really need this to go like one tooth round. The marks are there, the crank didn't move. <coughs> Soon. Ah, my finger. Man, I really need to get a pair of grips that aren't ridiculous. Ow!
Should have done that the first time rather than cutting my fingers twice. Right, that's about done. Now we're just going to cut the peg. Cool, tensioner back on. I did actually have to knock the peg back into the block because I didn't think it was right and it wasn't right in. So give it the old spinny. Do it twice because the belt's pulled itself on that a weird way. It walk itself back over again. Come on, right on the compression. There we go. Do me. Lovely. Cool. Perfect. One belt. Decided to put the bottom cover on, but uh, for fear of getting slandered by the Volvo community for doing half a job, which is probably true, I decided I would put it back on. It actually had no bolts in it, so they've either rattled out or I didn't put them back in, but the other reason is uh, that the top cover won't get the top cover, this cover just flaps about if you don't put it on so at least if I put the bottom one on I can leave the top one off and that's fine beautiful, that is more than tight than I'm imagining battery ratchets are pretty strong yeah it's solid now Nice. Cool, crank pulley. Crank pulley bolt in, put a wee bit of Loctite on it, just because uh, I'm only going to be able to hammer this on with a gun. And I'd rather it doesn't come off. Um, the Loctite I'm using is the blue stuff, which is the weakest. So hopefully that doesn't cause me any dramas in the future, but I'm sure that it probably will. That's plenty tight enough. It's only for me belts. Come on, pedal. Oh, come on, good boy. Nice. Right, cool. Let's uh, put the V belts back on. The only problem is I don't even have a battery to start this to see if the belt's all right. So I'll probably have to chuck the radiator in tomorrow. But hey ho, I shall get a battery tomorrow, and I'm sure it will all be fine. If not, I'll just need to take the crank pulley off again. That's no big deal, because the air gun doesn't seem to mind. Uh, one. To be fair, I might not even bother putting the belts on tonight because I do need a battery. Well, I really want a battery just to make sure this is not misfiring its bag off or I've done something wrong. I don't want to put it all back together to have to take it all apart. So I will put these on because these come off really easy. And I will go and get a battery. Cool, let's go up to my mates and get a battery. Back on another beautiful day, which it is. It's actually sunny outside, I'm gonna open the big door. But we have a battery. It's on charge, because it's deed. Um, I did kind of want to run this before I put everything back on. 
but I'm going to trust that I've done it right. I'm sure I have. It's an eight valve. It's super simple. Uh, put the V belts back on, power steering and alternator. Get the catch cam back in, so I've not got time to make another one. Get the radiator in. Probably put it back down on the deck. Roll it back outside. Put some water and coolant in it. Hopefully the battery's charged by then. Start it, see that it runs. Take it a rip up the lane, make sure the coilovers feel all right, which I'm sure they will. And yeah, probably get into some trailer work. One heavily worn V-belt, which I didn't have time to uh, buy a new one off. Come on, there you go, plate. Oh, sound, move that out of the way. Come on, over you go. Oh, I got you off. Ah! Get in the bin. Yeah, we'll just loosen it off more. Tell you, if you don't have a battery ratchet, buy one. Even if it's a cheap one. Just get one, because they are life-changing. There we go. One, two, hit the very back. Both left. as it will go. I think this belt might be slightly too long. I don't have another one, so that'll have to do. Next is the alternator belt. Definitely do with some new alternator bushes, that's for sure. Done. Um, what's next? Radiator, I guess. Slot the radiator in and get the coolant hose on. Let me uh, move you back a little. Clip. Any of you are wondering uh, what fan this is, it is an Astra fan, Astra G, as recommended by a friend of mine who uses one on his red block engine BMW Compact and they work really well actually, not really got any overheating issues apart from when it was raining, when it's just sitting on limiter all the time, 
does get a wee bit hot, but as a whole, it's pretty good to be honest. Now, the other bolt for the radiator is in my bucket of water. Can I see it? I'll show you. Oh, ming in, ming in, ming in. I really need to jet wash this. Oh. These are twelves, which they are. Nip these up. Can move that back to where it's supposed to be. This really needed a coolant flush anyway, because uh, it was full of rusty minging water. Lovely. Cool, let's get the bottom radiator hose on. This is always really tight to get on. Ah. And it will take some persuasion. Come on. Up you go. That wasn't bad. Come on, come on. Flip over. Not even if the Jubilee clip wasn't in that, I'm convinced it would never come off. We just need to reach my ratchet. That'll never come off. Top Jubilee clip. Lovely. Just a couple of these and we're, uh, we're golden. Still running my ripped hose from the last time, which I really should have ordered a replacement of. But I haven't. So that's what we'll be using. <clears throat> that goes on there. She's a plug. It's not the right plug. One. This doesn't have to be tight really, it just holds the air filter on. Do it. Right, absolute spaghetti junction. Because it's still running the EEPROM chips, you do actually need all of the stuff on the inner wing. And I sliced a lot of the loom open to try and find something at one point, and I've never bothered to neaten it back up again. But I do have an ECU master there, so the plan will be to get rid of all of this an ECU master this car with the bigger turbo, the clutch and flywheel that I bought recently. Um, what this behind there? Probably want this not trapped under there. Come on. Oh man, I hate the wiring on this. It's a mess. When the bonnet's down, you can't see it. I think if it doesn't start, we'll just bring the battery charger over here and charge it in the car. 
no need for this strap to be as long as it is. Let me cut that down as well. And turn this over. Beautiful. One. Negative. Is that trapped underneath? Probably. Not a great person. I'm going to say this battery is probably dead still. But you never know. <clears throat> she might go. Is she if she wants to start? It's only been charging for like 10 minutes, so I'm going to say that it's pan breed. I don't know. Almost. Oh, we had one shot, one opportunity. Put it back on charge. Next on the agenda, <clears throat> fitting my works all right, but not really catch can back in. Um, my plan is to redesign this once again in the wet. It, uh, it blows a lot of oil out. Not so much in the dry because you're not on the limiter as much. Now, I was going to do some big square multi-level felly, but I think I might do something that's maybe a bit longer because I've got loads of depth, but not a lot of width. Um, yeah, but I need to take the wheel off so I can just tighten up. So these two bolts are tight. I've done the bracket for this, so then that bolt needs tightened. That one's tight. I must have loosened them off, but I need to take the wheel off because they go through the wheel. I know, I know. Two six. So Jamie can see me. Jamie, Jamie, famous Jamie's come down from a... Uh, if you say Dodie Squad, he gets really, he really likes it because it's do, it. it's do a die. Do a die squad. Do a die squad. But I guess you can't use center scores to make it obvious for people. Obviously. So then people are just supposed to know. Yeah. Great, cool. So. Modern languages, you know. Dodie Squad down the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's see if the Volvo wants to start this time. <laughs> yes. Listen to that straight pipe tractor chug. Oh, my phone's ringing. Two seconds. So, um, it starts, it runs. It seems to idle quite nice. We do have a small problem, which is the crank pulley for the V-belts. I think I was maybe a bit too uh, hashy with trying to get it off with a hammer. And it looks really warped. So, I've already put the radiator and all that back in. I'm not taking it all back out. So I think uh, probably not gonna go drifting tomorrow, which is a bit of a shame. But you can have a look with your own eyes. I just wanna give a big shout out to all my mum and dad's neighbors. Cause uh, they get to hear a straight pipe Volvo at, I don't know, two in the afternoon. I mean, I don't know what's more lucky, them or me. But it seems to drive all right, so is my farmer in? Nope. Nope, my third gear's broken. All right, we've confirmed that my third gear is broken from the last drift day. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. Cool, lucky we've got a diesel BMW gearbox, so we'll be able to fit that at some point. I thought somebody was coming in there. Well, that's a bit of a shame. Definitely not going drifting tomorrow. That's good, because I couldn't be arse changing the crank pulley again. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> I 
absolute animal in the car. Keep my guns down. Back in the workshop and forget that we spent the last two days fixing it to not go drifting. But it's, uh, there's nothing more depressing than uh, working on your car.